This is Dan Starkey, alias Commander Strex. Please watch the hashtag show or prepare to be obliterated, human scum. L is being a trooper uh, because you are sick. I can only breathe out of one nostril right now, guys. Don't get me sick, bro. I am trying really hard not to. I'll talk like this. Remember yeah. that. <laughs> and now I'm forced because there's no buffer. There's no Daniel here to sit in between us. But, but Daniel is also sick. He is. We are all cootie infested. Make sure to get your cootie shots. Uh, I, I know this has nothing to do with Power Rangers, okay. and I'm going to derail this conversation slightly a little bit, right. because people like our personal stories. All right. uh, you were currently at Gallifrey One. I was. I was there Friday night. Way later. Cause Way I later in the night, and uh, I ran into a friend, and I guess she was rooming with this with this girl. Okay. And this girl like came up to me and started talking to me. Honest to God, started to I had no idea who this is. Okay. Start showing me her cosplay pictures, and I'm like, okay, cool. So I start checking out of the conversation a little bit. Yeah. And then like you've lost my interest. Is that one of those moments? It's <laughs> oh, unfortunately you have lost my interest. And then I start checking out a little bit, and then she she somehow like puts her arm around, like, around me like I'm her boy. And I was like, what Whoa. the fuck is happening right now? Yeah. And then, like, st brings me, like, by her friends. And I'm like, what is, like, what is happening? And then I realized. Wait, this is the person you don't know, right? You're no, I have no idea. Friend, this is, and this is I don't like, even okay. remember her name. I think it's Jennifer. Okay. Kathy. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so this happens. And then, and then like, her, my friend comes back. And she kind of saved me from the situation. She yeah. kind of pulls me away. And then she's like, oh, I want you to meet this other girl. I'm like. Wait. Time out. What is going on? It, I, I yeah. don't get people sometimes, I think. Maybe they're just being friendly. Like, Gallifrey is a place where No, no, but like... she, like, hypes her up. She's like, oh, my friend's very attractive. She does this and this. And I was like, great. Like, I'm not... This isn't, this isn't fucking uh, like speed up. dating. Yeah, yeah, what, is, yeah. what is happening right now? Anyways, I thought I would share that story to tell you guys. The Gallifrey one is crazy. It's it just a wild orgy, I feel and like. And it's fun. And if you ever get a badge, they have a free snack room. You get free snacks, free drinks. It's great. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite cons. And it is Doctor one of my Who, ones. which we're not going to be on today, but normally you can check it out on Sundays at 7 o'clock. So. With L, any. Well, there was dancing, though. There's gimps. What? Dancing? Yep. There was dancing, but yep. there wasn't any. Is that how you dance? Did but, you go to the dance yesterday at uh, Gallifrey? No, that's too late. It was, it was like at 11 o'clock or something like that. That's Man, I will say this. If you. If, Nobody here is, in, when, is from Gallifrey. If you want, like, I am. Listen, the people at Gallifrey one, they are the thirstiest group of people I've ever met in my life. Let me tell you right now. Maybe not you, but you know who's there right now? Justin Cuzon. I'm just kidding. His name is also Kizon. Cuzon. All right, Cuzon. Justin Cuzon. Justin Kizon is there right now. Who else is there? There's a few. John Pingle. Oh, I can't wait to talk to him about Gallifrey one. JD should be over there too. JD. JD might say. I think he's coming here. Oh, well, but, he was there yesterday. Yeah, man. And Josh and you and not everyone was there Friday. Thirsty. No, I was there Friday. Friday. Yeah, Friday. So there, if thirsty. any of you want to get into Doctor Who. Or come. just, yeah, have a good time. Uh, or have a good time, but you need to have a badge. Chat. Oh, Larry Newbell, what's Super up? Chat City, Super Chat Sunday. Wait, hey, what you are you doing even... here? You're not a part. Get the fuck out of here. You're not a part Larry of my team. Larry Newbell, you, didn't, kidding, you didn't even put in a message. He didn't put a message in. Uh, but Larry, Where's thank you message? so much. Well, the message is he wants us to, us to tell more weird stories like the, uh, hey, what, you have any weird Gallifrey one story? I don't know why I touched you because I feel like I'm going to get sick now because I touched you. Oh, cooties. That's probably true. Uh, do you have any fun Gallifrey one stories this year? Um, I have a lot of fun stories, but hey. they're not like sharing kind. They're just like personal fun stories. But you want to tell a fun story? This is a great story, actually. Uh, before, I don't even know if, I, I think Hashtag Show was just starting and I and you and I had, we knew each other for a while yeah. and we were at Gallifrey one. You want to tell that the story? The roses? Yeah. The guy that came with the roses? It was just Valentine's Day, so this is apropos for this. All right, we're going to take a little divergent down memory lane. But at Gallifrey One a couple years ago, there was this guy, and it was it was actually Valentine's Day. And there was three of us girls and Joe, and I feel like there was someone else there. JD. JD was also there. And this guy comes up with three roses outstretched, and he walks up to our group, and then he's like, these aren't for you. And he yeah. hides them behind his back. <laughs> And so we're like, okay. And he stands there for a while. We're like, so how's the con? How are you enjoying it? And we have this conversation. And in the middle of it, my version of you've lost my interest is I just walked away and I text everybody. I was like, I'm going to be inside. It was a little too awkward for me. And I just left. <laughs> you just walked away. <laughs> I just walked away. Like in the middle of this conversation, I was like, I'm, 
not usually the most social person, so you gotta work with me. You can't just stand there in silence and make me that feel was awkward, the, and I just left. The real life version of hanging up in somebody's face. Like, that was definitely like, ghosting. It's not like it was just me and him talking together as a group, so at least there was someone else. And we also got another super Party chat. at Joe's house. So Gallifrey won. <laughs> Gallifrey won. Gallifrey this won. is not our Doctor Who show, but I feel well, like we could I'm have gonna a give you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of live from Gallifrey right now. Okay. This is uh, the better, and I don't wanna say better, but the more entertaining version, because I'm better than Daniel. But here's the thing. Uh, live from Gallifrey 1, uh, you were just at Gallifrey. Yes. Uh, what was the best cosplay you saw? Oh, man. Kerblam was a really good one. I don't even this... know what you just said. What is Kerblam. Kerblam! Oh, wait. What is what is it? It's like the... I don't want to ruin the episode, but there's like this Kerblam man that's basically like an Amazon mascot. But there was this guy that had like the mask, the plastic mannequin mask and light up eyes and the Kerblam with like the bubble wrap. Oh, so good. And you saw Catherine Tate? I did see Catherine Tate. She She's had a, uh, a Q&A? Yes. She doesn't know anything about Doctor Who, though. She doesn't, or sci-fi in general. She doesn't watch her own shows, so all the Doctor Who questions that came up, she was like, I don't know. I wonder if she would have answered office questions. It would have she up. did. She did answer she did. some office questions. That's great. Yeah. Um, but so you had a good time? Yes, I always have a good time. And you're not going back? Um, not after this. I'm going to bed. Let me ask you another question. Last question about Gallifrey One. Is it, because I've heard personally that a lot of people haven't been as enthusiastic uh, with this year or last year because, because here's the, we the weird thing about Gallifrey One. You have to buy tickets first yes. and because they, they sell out really quick, but they don't announce any of the guests. They don't announce anything. So you kind of just are buying the ticket really for the experience. But a lot of conventions are like that. Like Comic Con, you have to buy it like whenever they release it. Well, but it, you know that Comic Con's going to be like a big yeah. deal, right? But Gallifrey One, I mean, I remember there was a year that we had Gallifrey One and no actual doctors were there. Yeah. It was it was literally it should have just been called uh, uh, Torchwood One. Yeah, because John Barrowman comes last up year. a lot. Yeah. Last year. Last year. Um, there's, but some some other years are able to pull really interesting. Like Stephen Moffat was able to come, and that last was year. a that was a huge was huge. Thing. I wish I went. To, I wish I would have went I to that wish panel. I did too. But also, uh, one there's there is that's the a bland man. It was so good. There is one. I think it was last year or the year before. I wish. Now looking back, I wish I would have done it. I wish I'd have taken a picture with John Hurt because now he passed yeah, away. I know. And it sucks. Ugh. But like that, I I, reg I regret not taking a picture with him then. And he's been in so many things, I just know. not Doctor Who. Just he, not Doctor Who. Yeah. Just not, yeah. He's iconic. Iconic. Like, he's an iconic, oh man, I, I just wish. Just an actor in general. Yeah. He's an actor my dad likes. Everybody likes, he's, he's a really good actor. But that's going to do it for us here. But thank you to Anthony Davis. Live from Gallifrey Davis. 1. We give you a little taste of what that show is. That's going to be back every Sunday. Next, starting back Everybody next Sunday. Blur. We got Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We wish Daniel a speedy recovery. I wish you a speedy recovery, too. too. And don't oh, get me sick, bro. Oh, my nose is open now. Don't get me sick. That's going to do it for us. You can follow Elle at LT on everything she does on social yes. media. And you can follow me at that hashtag Joe. That's going to do it for us. And we will uh, see, see you guys. In, I'll see you guys in a few minutes on Facebook. Yes. But uh, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Stay up to date with everything trending. And keep pop culture.